the rabbit, make it a habit. I've got a lot of what it takes to change the law. I'm in for money, the up the money. Redeem the dum 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 Duck. What's up, is it? I'll tell you what's up. When I'm president, I'm gonna pass a law that'll outlaw rabbits. That, my poor unfortunate soon-to-be-condemned species, is what is up. Very ingenious solution to a long smoldering problem. But there's just one slight technicality. The president can't pass laws. The president can't pass what? That's ridiculous! The president can do anything! Anything he wants! He's just like a king! Only better! He's better, all right, but he's no king. Says so, right here. You're outnumbered, good buddy, by the Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers, ha! Bunch of muley infants, no doubt. What do they know? Hmm, the Constitution. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the President is responsible for enforcing the laws. Congress makes the laws. You mean I've got to run for Congress? Well, cheer up, Doc. There's been a lot of funny boys sent to Congress, but you may be the first duck to be elected. At least you're not a lame duck. Well, well, look who's here, the ambitious gosling. Watch your manners, Buster. You are addressing Daffy, the right honorable congressman duck, voted into Congress by 40 million Long Island ducklings. Well, well. Congratulations. You may well so say, but I'm giving a fair warning. The first law I'm gonna pass is to make it rabbit season a minimum of 12 months a year. No more duck season. From now on, only rabbits are sitting ducks. All those in favor of the proposition by the distinguished member from Long Island. Aye. Those opposed. No. Can you imagine anything so ridiculous as majority rule? Hmm, Congress makes the laws, the president sees to it that the laws are enacted, that must mean put to work, and the courts interpret the laws. That's it! What we need around here is a little interpretation. And who better to interpret a law about rabbits than a duck? Okay, buddy, I'm taking this whole duck season, rabbit season stuff to the Supreme Court to aggravate, uh, 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 to aggra, uh, to, to rule in my favor. Lawbreaker. Lawbreaker? Me? Says so right here. The Fourth Amendment to the Constitution protects us from illegal search and seizure, which is what you just did to me. So why don't we just trot up there to the Supreme Court and have a little chat about a duck's bill of rights? Eh, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'll just check this little document some more to redress my injustices. Collect taxes? Hmm, possibility. Cruel and unusual punishment. Well, I'm familiar with that. Well, any court that can interpret that duck's mind would have to have a supreme sense of humor. Just in case that duck or anybody else tries to put anything over on you, think of the Constitution like this tree. It's just like a big sturdy oak. And the trunk is the Constitution with three strong branches. The legislative, Congress, the judicial, the courts, and the executive, the presidency. It may not be perfect, but it's protected us for over 200 years. And it looks good for a couple of thousand more. 